realize that this is just the first step. And if we want to ensure that all students have access to computer science, we have to continue to work for it. Samantha White isn't your ordinary student. I'm taking quite a few AP classes. I'm also taking differential equations at uh, Michigan State University right now. And a passion for computer science. So I'm looking in my future to combine both of those. But specifically, I'd like to study computer science in college. Samantha, along with classmates Katie Knox, Sophie Steiner, and Taylor Murray, started a club called Students for Female in Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math to promote computer science at their school. We offer it online, but there's no in-class computer science program. They were invited to the National Governors Association to do an hour of coding with Governor Snyder. We presented him with our case saying that computer science is a really important skill for the 21st century, just as important as reading, writing, and math. And Governor Snyder brought up that meeting during his State of the State Address Tuesday night. Samantha White says that in the state of Michigan in 2014, 1,612 students graduated in computer science, and out of that number, 15% were females. It's severely lacking in our schools in Michigan and across the country even. And Samantha hopes that her efforts with her classmates and Governor Snyder will bring change for an area of computer science. We look forward to continuing to work with Governor Snyder to ensure that all students across Michigan have access to a quality computer science education. In East Lansing, Elizabeth Crenshaw, Fox 47 News. Smart young ladies right there. Last night, Governor Snyder took a trip to Stockbridge to see how the district's STEM programs are helping students. You can watch that story again on our website, Fox 47 News.